Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are fit and fine. So today I received this HP Book 1030G2 laptop. It's completely dead. So now I will try to fix this laptop. And I will show you how to fix step by step this kind of motherboard. So let's try to fix it. Okay, this is uh, the motherboard and this is the motherboard number as you can see this motherboard number so uh, I don't have any schematic or board view for this motherboard it's not available so I will try to repair this board only with my experience so now at first I will set my multimeter in beep mode and then I will check main power rail i mean which is 19 volt power rail is short or not so this is the first step so i will check this uh, filtering capacitor as you can see there is no short that means the 19 volt power rail is clear so now i will connect my power supply and i will check on my dc power supply it's taking any ampere or not so as you can see it's taking only 0 0.38 so it's not turning on then i will check step number one sorry step number two i set my multimeter in dc mode then i will check 19 volt power rail on this motherboard so here as you can see this pad here and here so anyone i can check here 19 volt as you can see it's present then step number three is three volt and five volt always so this one should be three volt okay it's present and this one five volt five volt also present so now i will check 1.8 volt so this coil may be 1.8 volt okay it's present also secondary here also 1.8 volt present so now i need a 1 volt i need 1 volt on this motherboard so actually i don't know where is where it is so i need to check uh, this coil may be 1.5 volt this coil may be 2.5 volt and this one is ram supply 1.2 something this is uh, for cpu core this also so i will flip this motherboard and i got two coil also here as you can see this two so if I check here I got 0 0.7 okay and if I check here it's nothing as you can see here is nothing so I don't have any data sheet for this IC I have only I have only this one so what is required for this IC first pin number one is 19 volt so if I check here pin number is as you can see here this pad is V in 19 volt is present next volt is 3.3 this is a pin number 10 so if I check here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this little cap we have a 3.3 volt present next is pin number 5 is enable voltage so if i check here uh, 1 2 3 4 5 this register if i check here i got 1.3 but this should be 3.3 volt so why this volt is 1.3 so there is two reason 
this uh, enable voltage is missing or this IC is bad so I have uh, two option first option I will inject one volt here from my DC power supply then I will check this board is turn on or not so let's uh, let's try this first option so as you can see I set already 1.0 volt so I connect this probe is ground other is so at first I will disconnect so other I put here this pad and then I connect my power supply okay as you can see it's turning on it's turning on this uh, white LED also power LED also glowing that means this laptop is turning on so now I will replace this IC from my donor board uh, this is a G5 laptop <coughs> and this IC SMD code is AKVH so this code also same so first I will replace this IC and then I will check this problem solve or not Okay, I already replaced, so I will let it be cool for a few seconds. So I will wait. Okay, now I will connect my DC power supply again. Okay, it's turning on, and I got one volt. One volt here. So now I will check if this place is okay or not. Connect LVDS cable here. So I connect again my power supply. Okay, it's turning on. So I need to wait for a few seconds to see HP logo. Come on, come on. Come on, baby. I just waiting to see HP logo. okay we got HP logo so as you can see we successfully fixed this laptop 
no matter we have schematic we don't have schematic or board view but we have knowledge how to repair this kind of board so if you like this video so please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon if you already subscribe my channel thank you so much and that's it for today see you in the next video until then stay well thank you bye bye